The first thing we went to was Tokyo, and it was actually like a really last minute trip, so it was so cool kind of going into it, not really knowing what to expect. And I'm half Japanese, and I've always wanted to go to Japan and Tokyo. So I think the best part was just like taking in everything new about the city. It was such a different vibe than anything else in North America. We went to a few popular like fashion landmarks, so um, Harajuku Lane, which I think a lot of people are familiar with, um, to check out like the different shops there and all the Disney street style. And we met with a few um, Disney influencers. I like the ears, I like the little mini hat, because when I go to Disney, it's like, okay, what Disney piece of clothing am I wearing today? Disney and Pixar is like a huge part of my childhood, so it's like nostalgia and childhood and just like feel, feeling good, you know what I mean? And just like bringing it with you as you grow up in like different ways like style. So in my episode, I go exploring New York City and I interview a bunch of Disney bounders and I also get to talk to the creative director of Coach for the Disney Times Coach Collection. I, I'm such a Disney girl. I watched every Disney movie and all the princesses and characters really inspired me to find my own personal style and really kind of use them as my muse and finding what works for me and just getting your own personal look and so I think Disney style for me is just all the nostalgia and the memories and incorporating that into my everyday look. So it was actually really nice to go around the whole of London and actually see the tourist attractions because I feel like since we've moved we kind of take that for granted yeah. we kind of miss it so it was really yeah, nice was to really go fun. and it was a nice day as well. Meeting the Disney bounders was so much fun and what was really cute they were also twins as well so they were kind of yeah. similar to us they kind of bounced off each other and finished each other's sentences which is what we do yeah, now um, and it was really cute because one of them was dressed as Peter Pan and the other one was dressed as, as Belle. Belle but you could see exa exactly like the pieces that they were wearing that they really resembled that character. Yeah. I would say with a cute pair of denim shorts mm. and then like a Mickey Mouse t-shirt or incorporating like tiny little bits of Disney so you could wear like a red skirt yeah. or just little touches of Disney but I definitely love like a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Well we have six pairs of Disney ears so yeah. we have so much choice when it comes to like accessorising our outfits. <laughs> yeah. Disney style means to me, I think it's timeless and you can wear it anytime and any age as well. In my Destination Disney Style episode, I get to visit a ton of different fashion shows. I get to visit Nieder's Bon Wheat. They have a huge Disney section, so that was pretty awesome to see. So I got to travel to Shanghai, and my favorite part was visiting Shanghai Fashion Week and getting to see all of the fashion shows and the designers. It was pretty great. My favorite way is um, through accessories. I have this beautiful Kate Spade uh, bag inspired by Minnie Mouse, and it's my favorite way. <laughs> Disney style means being fun and free and letting the character inside of you come out. When I met Meredith in New York, we got to talk about a lot of stuff, including like high fashion in New York City and how um, it relates to Disney. And I was talking about how like Marc Jacobs is such a huge fan, huge fan of Disney and how all of his collections have had Mickey Mouse in them in like one way or another. Um, it means that you can express yourself and have some fun because Disney is all about being happy and having fun and I think that when you wear something Disney related it just makes you feel better.